Time to present our ninth annual John Reed Leadership Award. Tonight's recipient joins the following list. Listen to these names. Wapakoneta's Bill Sammons, Kenton's Matt Dudek, Spencerville's John Zerby, Pandora Gilboa's Kerry Arthur, St. Mary's Mike Reams, Marion Local's Tim Goodwin, Upper Soda Valley's Josh Spencer, and last year's winner, Chris Summers of Spencerville, who will present tonight's award. Chris? Uh, it's my pleasure and my honor to present the 2018 John Reed Leadership Award to Andy Schaefer. Columbus Grove head football coach Andy Schaefer. Two friends here. Well, what's this mean to you, Chris, to, to get to present it to your friend? I can't think of a more deserving person. Um, you know, Andy came and spoke to our team before the season started. And, uh, you know, it's different because you come into another locker room and that, and I told the guys he was coming. And when he left, the coaches and the players all said, wow, you know, what a person and what a message he had. And so deserving and, it, you know, I, I've gotten to know Andy over the years, and I watched him as a coach. But I think one of my, you know, one of my greatest things uh, in coaching has been to be able to call him a friend, and uh, just uh, you know the impact he's had on my life. So, so happy for him, and uh, really well deserved. We were texting after Tom Geeskin, who originated this award after longtime cold water coach John Reed, uh, and Andy texted, and he said, "This award means more than any of the others." Why, why is that? Uh, I don't even know where to begin. I, I met uh, John one time at a, at a coach's clinic, and uh, it was instant. You could just see the integrity in him. And, and uh, it was just like a, such a humbling experience. And then uh, to watch him go through what he went through in just a short time, but still remain the man that he was, and, and he really made an impact in my life. And, and I remember like year after year as this award has been given out, I was like, wow, you know, those are some great men. And, and honestly, I never really thought that I would have the opportunity to stand in these shoes. And then when you guys showed up and, and, and told me I'd be the recipient this year, I mean, it was just, it was one of the most humbling experiences that I, I've ever had. I, I text Chris right before tonight and I just said, I just don't even know how to accept this award because um, it, it, means, it means a lot. It's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty special. So many of our conversations have not been about football. They've been about life and how kids are growing and how the coaching staff's coming together. And it feels like you get the whole picture. This isn't just about football. No, um, um, this is obviously a family uh, thing with, with my wife and kids. And, and uh, you know, we really have poured our, our, ourselves into the team. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I really have, have felt it like a mission to really build up uh, young men and and so, uh, you know, I've been challenged to just kind of live your life and, and let other people come along. And, and uh, you know, seeing guys like Chris do that as well, it's, it's an encouragement, and that's what we're trying to do. Is there another story that comes to mind when you think of, of Coach Schaefer, Chris? You know, so many. Um, I think the one time, you know, he just, um, we actually had just got done playing, and it was a really hard fault game, and we've had, a lot throughout the years. But the one thing that I noticed with him is after the games and everything, no matter what, um, he's just such a nice guy and a <laughs> humble guy. And it didn't come punching the head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> encouraging uh, to uh, your players. And, you know, just he's just one of the most positive, And you can just tell it comes from the right place. And, um, Again, he's just a guy that you really look to emulate. And, you know, someone in my career, too, I look for guys like this. And uh, he's been a great mentor. You're trying to get him to, to run the ball. He's trying to get you to spread it out a little bit. <laughs> Football yeah. X to know is a little different yeah. offensively. But yeah. uh, certainly a camaraderie that comes with being a head coach and knowing the, the hardships that come night in and night out, especially in the fall. Yeah, you know, I was, uh, I was just running this summer and just thinking about some different things. And I thought, uh, you, you always try to teach your kids character, but this year was different. I just felt like we needed to show our kids character and what, what difference could it be to um, invite one of our competitive coaches to come talk to our team. And that's kind of where I got that idea, and mm -hmm. I invited Chris. He came out and talked to Columbus Grove kids first, and it was, it was a different experience for yeah. our kids and for, 
for Chris. Yeah, I mean, he, he didn't know what to wear. He ended up with this Michigan State stuff that we can talk about <laughs> later. But, but uh, you know, it was, uh, it, it was a neat experience to see. And then, you know, I wasn't expecting anything return. And he had asked me to come speak to his team. And, and for our teams to kind of go in battle uh, like they did this year, I, that made an impact because mm -hmm. I remember our players really – really respecting him, and, and I, I remember his players really respecting me. It was a different handshake at the end of the game, especially with such a, such a hard-fought battle. Yeah. Excellent. One of the seven traits of John Reed. He, he won year in and year out. Both these teams shared the Northwest Conference along with Crestview. Both teams making the playoffs. Certainly fun to have some wins on the field as well. Absolutely. It was a fun year, and, and our kids uh, definitely enjoyed uh, the, the experience that they had this year. And, uh, you know, obviously that's part of it, uh, yeah. but, uh, you know, just the way that to see these, these guys grow, you know, our principals and superintendent really talked about the character of the school has really changed the last, the last year, and that's, that's definitely um, um, good to see. Certainly your faith drives you. I wouldn't want to not give you an opportunity to share that as well here uh, on this night. John Reed, a man of, of Christian faith. Yeah, you know, that's, uh, that, that's everything. And, and honestly, it's just you just live your life. And, uh, and it's amazing where you can see, you know, um, uh, Jesus impact your life, but also other kids. Um, had the opportunity to go on some mission trips, uh, and uh, we're, we're planning another one this, this summer, and there's some kids that are going to be coming along with us. So, you know, it's, it's neat to just say, hey, um, I'm going to live my life as a man of God. Um, I'm going to live uh, my life um, uh, as a believer, and let's just see what, uh, let's just see what happens. If other people want to join with us, come along. So it's been neat. One final thing, you guys have, you and your wife, your family have started CG Connect right above the pizzeria in downtown Columbus Grove, uh, a place for kids to come and gather. Yeah, um, you know, that's, that's kind of started with a, a couple of uh, friends of ours in the, in the community and, and honestly just kind of started over some conversations and it's really been kind of neat to see how that's grown and, and we just have open houses is what we started on Friday nights. Uh, before the games for junior high and then after the games for high school, but it's it's really blossomed into some some Bible studies that are taking place and all the way from fifth grade all the way through high school. So it's neat to see you know families uh, come alongside in the community and, and and join kind of our mission and it's been it's been great. A lot of coaches maybe finish their football season discouraged. <laughs> maybe they're thinking right now, hey, I can't keep doing this. It's too much pressure. There's too much that goes on. It's hard on my family. What encouragement would you give to them tonight? It is. Well, I, you know, I, I, I think that you definitely need to uh, uh, stay the course. Um, there's a pretty uh, special verse that comes to mind, and, and that's uh, James uh, chapter 1, verse 12. Excuse me. That's, that's the verse that came up when my, my dad passed away, but uh, really talks about uh, staying the course, and if you do that, then you'll receive the crown later on in life. Right. Andy Schaefer, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Ninth annual John Reed Leadership Award winner, Patrick Kamler, has more. Patrick.